Hey guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to the channel. And if you, like me, have got a repulsor tank to transport your Primara Space Marines and you've seen the vehicle weapon options, you'll be as confused as I am. This thing is basically made of guns and there are far too many options and I've just got no idea what to do. So what's the best solution to that? Magnets. You've got to magnetise this thing. It is made for that. Some of it's a little bit more tricky than you'd imagine, but other than that, it's fairly straightforward. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you exactly how I've magnetised every option for the repulsor tank for the Space Marines. So let's get straight into the video. So let's take a look at the problem we have. I've mostly assembled my Primaris repulsor tank, all except the uh, the grav plates along the bottom so I can paint them separately. And you can see this thing is literally covered in guns. You've got heavy bolters, you've got uh, last talons, you've got stubbers, you've got this little light on the front that can become another stubber, you've got these rear weapons, side weapons. It is brimming with guns. And all those pieces on the left hand side uh, I'm pointing out now are options that you can use to upgrade your uh, your tank. And you'll obviously pay different points for each of these options. So we have a solution, and that solution is, quite simply, a bucket load of magnets. And you can see I haven't glued that top plate so I can actually demonstrate to th this to you. So all I'm going to do is just remove all of these different weapons, and we'll take a look at all the different magnet options that I've used for this. So we just line everything up so we can uh, keep an eye on what's going on. The first one we're going to look at is this rear Icarus uh, heavy stubber. And you can see there's a little magnet on the nub and a little magnet on the inside. And we can replace that option with this little missile launcher. And there we go, exactly like that. That actually holds in place without a magnet, to be honest. But just one in there for stability so that hopefully we don't lose any of those parts. The next ones we've got then is the heavy bolters on the front. Now these can be replaced with last cannons. So there's a magnet on each of the end of those. You can see those there. I'll give all the lists of all the, uh, the magnet sizes I use in the description below. Two little magnets on the inside of this, and then corresponding magnets on the end of each of the last cannon options. And all they do is they just, if you get that the right way around, they just slot in exactly like that, and they hold perfectly well as is. Now at the back of this section I have packed it out with a bit of green stuff just to make sure the inside magnets hold, as there wasn't a lot of plastic to be able to adhere the magnets to but that works just nicely. Now we have three of these little mini turrets, two go on the rear, uh, on the side, sorry, and one can go on the rear to replace that Icarus weapon platform. And we have two options here, we've got uh, frag launchers and we've got storm bolters. So I've just got a pair of magnets on each of these, and you probably could get away with just one, but I found it actually easier to use two. And then we can just interchange the frag launchers and the storm bolters exactly as you see fit. And there's three of each of those, so we can just go frag or we can go storm bolter. Storm bolters are cheaper in points, and with that recent beta rule buff, storm bolters could actually be the way to go. Now, on top of that, if I don't throw it all over the desk, is the turret. The turret has got a lot of options on it. By default, the uh, the turret itself has a heavy onslaught Gatling cannon at the front, uh, an iron hail heavy stubber in the turret, two crack storm grenade launchers, and auto launchers. Now what we want to do is be able to change all of those options up, and this is how I've done it. So you can see there I've got two magnets on the sides, that can change my uh, uh, auto launchers into uh, frag storm grenade launchers. We don't have a problem with the crack storms because they're not replaceable, so I've glued those on. But we can take an extra um, heavy stubber on the option, and that replaces a little front little LED light thing. And you can see just inside there how I've done that. I've actually put the magnet inside the plastic. There's actually two there because the one I had originally didn't have enough uh, magnetic power. And then we've got the heavy onslaught cannon which can be replaced with a last talon. And to do that you have to remove the two sort of little side pieces which enable it to move up and down if you were to build it correctly. And just get rid of those so that you can slot it in and out exactly like that with a large magnet at the back. Now you can also take a secondary onslaught Gatling cannon which is the smaller version. And you don't need to actually magnetise this. This comes on a little gripper, and you can just plop out the uh, the Icarus, not the Icarus, the the Iron Hell heavy stubber, and just plonk in the the Gatling cannon. And you don't need to do any magnetising for that bit. So that gives us all of the different possible options that you could want. Really, that's uh, all the side pods, all the turret options, and everything else. 
the biggest concern now is you just got to make sure you don't lose all the component parts. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to come up with a solution for that. Maybe I'll just have a little magnetic strip that I can carry around in the bag and then put all the other options attached to them. But you can see there, all the different options, you can see that rear turret now has just been replaced. And that is exactly how we solve the problem we have with the Repulsor. Job done. So there we go then guys, whether you want to go full DACA, whether you want to go cheap, or whether you want to load up on last cannons and last talons and everything else that this thing can possibly field, uh, you now have all of those options available to you if you just follow this quick, simple guide video. Uh, I hope it's been helpful to you. I certainly have no idea how to equip this thing for games. I've got a funny feeling that as soon as you plonk one on the table, it will attract every enemy heavy weapon that you can possibly imagine. Very difficult to hide behind terrain. It will get shot, it will degrade, and most of your shots will never hit anyway. So whether you want to include this in your army or not, the rule of cool, it's a big floaty tank that carries your Primaris Space Marines. But if you want all the weapon options, this is the best way to go for it. I hope you learned something new, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall catch you guys on the next video.